Hey, thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44 again. I really appreciate you guys coming by. It's June. It's my birthday month. And uh, this Sunday is Father's Day. And I wanted to just mention to you, first of all, I want to say to every father, Happy Father's Day. Secondly, if you're in Scientology and you've disconnected from your father, I want to ask you from the top and the bottom of my heart to call your father on Father's Day. Fathers are a very important part of our lives, most of us, who were lucky enough to have really great fathers. I had a great father, Paul Christman, couldn't have been better. Unfortunately, he died when I was 22, but I always keep him close to my heart. And, you know, his nickname was Magoo for me. I named him that. And his football number was 44, and that's why I'm Tori Magoo 44, to keep my father very close to me. Because when I woke up, from Scientology in 2000, I had no one to talk to, not anyone. And I could feel my dad, and I was like, I don't know what to do. And the first thing I got was, get out of there. Just get out. Go somewhere. Because I'm 15 minutes away from the Office of Special Affairs, and I was afraid they were going to come get me. Anyway, long story short, it's Father's Day, and from my grandfather to my father to the father of my son, who was a wonderful father, to the to my brother, who's a wonderful father, to his son. You know, there's just, there's wonderful people that have been great fathers. And there's no way you could, there's not enough to thank really good fathers. And there's not enough to say for the people whose children have disconnected from you or they were creepy or mean fathers. I, I'm so sorry about it. It's so awful. It's so painful. And you have to ask yourselves, like, what does Scientology do to get people to stop thinking for themselves? What do they do? They must do something. And they do. It's called mind control. And if you don't know about mind control, type it into YouTube and start learning about it. Because it is a very serious subject. It definitely still happens today. And people... I mean, we're in the year 2018. In 2000, on the internet, my friend Lori, who's now passed away, <clears throat> excuse me, used to say, you'd ask her a question. She knew answers to everything. But you'd ask her a question, and she would say, I don't know if it was 2000, it might have been 2005, but whenever Google started really happening, she started saying, Google's your friend. And... It, it sounds like, of course, now, because we all use Google. But back then, it was so weird. It was like, why is she saying Google's our friend? But you know what? Her point was, ask Google. Ask them. And it's true. You can ask any question on any subject. There's no secrets anymore, which is the great news about Scientology and other cults and abusive relationships. And it's really bad for them. It is really, really bad. So... Anyway, always ask, always look, dedicate yourself to looking at both sides. And to everyone, to every father out there, I thank you from the top and the bottom of my heart. To my dad, I love you. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to cry. I love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Celebrate all weekend long. All right, bye-bye.